Hey everyone, it's Dahara, and this is a pick a card reading called How Did They See You as a Girlfriend Slash Boyfriend? Because let's be honest, your ex lovers would never be fully honest about how they truly saw you as a significant other, right? I mean, they won't. So that's why you have me to tell you how they really felt about you. You know, I'm going to show you all the good, the bad, and the ugly. And bonus, I'm going to tell you if they would um love to get back with you okay interesting all right guys um we have three piles and just choose whichever number that really calls out to you and that will be the answer to your question and without further ado let's dive right in all right so if you chose number one let me move this out the way guys Okay, chose number. Okay, let's start with the hangman, guys. So this tells me that what they loved the most about you is that you can let go and let live. You can chill. You can relax. You can be peaceful. You can be tranquil. You're not uptight. You're not tense. You're not high strung. You're not hypersensitive. You're not anxious. You're not on edge, at least compared to the people that they're dealing with now, okay? So you're very laid back, very composed, very easy breezy. And you're the type of person to be like, okay, things didn't go as planned. That's okay, Sh happens. Um, and I have a feeling that they missed that about you because I'm getting the feeling that this person is dealing with some very high strung, jittery, panicky people. And they're not the type of people to just be like, okay, that didn't work out. I'm not gonna fret about it. I'm just gonna just chill and just lay back. No, this, this is not the type of person that they're dealing with. So I feel like they miss that like quality about you that you can just be like, you know what? Things aren't going my way, but it's okay. It's cool. Like I'm not gonna get worried. I'm not gonna get upset. Like why? What's the point? Like what's the point of like throwing a fit, you know? And that's how they see you as a girlfriend and they love that about you. You're just so chill and relaxed. And you're not this, you know, firecracker that's just starting drama and, you know, getting angry for no reason. You're just really chill and laid back, okay? Now, I'm seeing the tower here, guys. So, <laughs> um, I will say this. Like, you've definitely said some things that bruised their ego. So, I can tell that um, they had one perception of how things are going and then you said something that made them think, like, whoa, like, all this time, I thought this was the case, but now I realize that wasn't the case. You know, it kind of surprised them. And this card tells me that you kind of dropped a bomb on them and they didn't really know how to take it. And it was a hard pill to swallow, okay? So it could have been anything. You could have you could have told them that, you know, the sex was whack. And, you know, all this time, they thought they were putting it down and that you were singing hallelujah, but that wasn't the case or you um, could have said like you know I'm not all that interested in you anymore or I've been dating someone else you know it's there was something that you told them that kind of really bruised their ego and it doesn't even need to be anything drastic or or dramatic it's just you know it could be like oh you know I could I think you should change up your clothes or I think you're I don't like your personality when you do this you know you're very honest and you're not afraid to just drop bombs and reveal things to them and um, whatever it is, basically, you know, this is all about how they saw you as a girlfriend, boyfriend. They saw you as someone who kind of just, you know, knocked them off their pedestal, kind of bruised their ego. They were sitting on their little high horse and they were sitting on their little platform and you just kind of brought them down a notch. You know what I mean? Like, you know, they had this like ego about them and you weren't the type to coddle their ego. You're like, uh, -uh honey, I'm going to have to tell you the truth. Okay. All right, so let's move on to the next card. Okay, the Knight of Pentacles. So they love that you weren't um, needy and dependent and clingy. Like, you are not clingy at all. Like, you're the opposite of that. And they love that because maybe they dealt with people who are just like, need me, love me, text me every two seconds or else you don't love me. <laughs> so... They're just like, ugh, you know, I hate people like that. But you, you're just like, you know, I can handle myself, you know. Whether you're in my life or not, like, I'm going to be okay, you know. So you know that you have, like, this self-worth in you and this confidence in you. And they're just like, 
I find that really attractive. It's not often that I stumble upon someone who's just like not clingy and dependent and needy on me. Like, I love that this person wants me and not needs me. Okay. Okay. So, um, now this one's all about what they didn't like about the relationship. And the eight of wands tells me that maybe they felt like the relationship was like, it had so much potential. It had so much, you know, that you guys were texting each other. You guys were going out and as much activity as there was in the beginning of the relationship, it kind of started to slow down. Like there was so much passion, it's so much rush. There was such a rush in the relationship and suddenly it just dissipated. Like all this passion and it just like kind of ran out of fuel is what I'm saying. Like they, they felt like their relationship kind of ran out of fuel and it's like, how, how did that happen? You know, they were, they were just so like, caught up in this whirlwind and this thing just kind of, I don't know, kind of fell apart. Okay, that's what I'm getting from this card. Um, now this card answers um, what they get back with you. The answer is they are so hurt by this relationship. Like they are so, they are heartbroken. Like they're, they're still heartbroken. Like their heart is like in a million pieces. They're too heartbroken to accept a second chance from you. Um, and I, I guess you could see that as flattering. Like they, they, they're so in pain from, uh, and so hurt by you that it's just like, I don't think I can go through that again. Okay. That's what I'm picking up. Like you'd have to really prove to them that, um, they wouldn't get hurt again. You know what I mean? All right. So that's number one guys. All right. So let's move on to number two. Nice. Okay, so here's what I love about the Ten of Wands. So they love that you're not the type of person who, like, if things are too much work for you or too stressful, you have no problem just walking away from the situation. You're not going to put yourself in a situation to be stressed, depressed, and, sh and pressed. Like, that's not you because you feel like it's not worth it. Like, what's the point? And they love that if something is too much for you to handle, you know, you're just going to drop it and walk away. If the heat is too hot in the kitchen, you're just going to get out of it, you know? Not worth your time and energy. I even feel like for some of you guys, you feel this way toward this person that I'm talking about right now. Like, you felt like they were too much. Like, they were too stressful and they were giving you um, just too much bullshit. And, and you just felt like, okay, it's not worth it. It's not worth the uphill battle. It's not worth the uphill bat battle. So bye. So, yeah, that, but that's how they saw you as a girlfriend uh, or boyfriend, whoever. Okay. Okay, so we have the Hierophant. So, with the Hierophant here, I can tell that this person didn't appreciate your how traditional you could be. So, this is, um, like, this is someone who wanted a relationship with you that was a little bit more on the un untraditional side. So, this could be, like, a friends with benefits thing or a non-heterosexual thing or an open relationship type of thing or a premarital sex type of thing but whatever it was it was non-traditional you know, that they wanted but you wanted to maintain your own personal moral values so it could be or it could be something else it could be like you know you having strong convictions and per strong personal opinions about certain things and they kind of wanted you to kind of like break your own rules you know and not be so concerned about what you're supposed to do and just be rebellious. That's what I'm getting. Like, they wanted you to just break out of your own um, box of how you saw things, but for their own personal benefit. Like, they didn't care that you would break your own values for them. All right, let's move on to the Six of Cups. Okay, um, I can tell that this person really loved how emotionally secure they felt in this relationship like this is a relationship that they felt really comfortable with you right away like there was something very warm and familiar and secure about you so like even if this relationship was like short-lived let's say like lasted like three weeks right there was something that about you that made them feel like oh i feel like i've known this person for so long and i don't know why you know um this is a relationship that they felt like was that made them very comfortable, okay? Comfortable is 
the key word here, guys. It, it just felt so natural and warm for them. So, you know, it, let me give you an example of what I'm trying to say. It's just kind of like, you know, you've been away from home for a long time and you finally come home and you just smell, you know, the home cooking that you're used to. You're, you're seeing the people that you're used to seeing. Like, it just feels like, oh my God, I'm home. Like, everything feels so secure and warm and safe. Like, that's how they feel with you. Okay. Alrighty. Let's see what else we got going on here. Okay. Ooh, we have the Ten of Cups reversed. Disappointment. This your this person felt like okay, this person had a lot of high hopes for this relationship for sure. Like they're thinking everything's gonna go well, you know. You know, they had fantasies about you, like whether it's, you know, having a family with you or like actual like, you know, that type of fantasy, you know what I'm talking about. Um they thought they were hoping for that and they were thinking of something beautiful would come out of it and they were hoping that amazing things would come come out of this relationship but i'm just going to say this um the relationship did not meet their expectations like they had like these high expectations and they expected the relationship to um meet their fantasy and it didn't um unfortunately things fell apart and they're kind of disappointed about it they had high hopes for this relationship, guys. Um, so this card basically um, answers, would they be willing to get back into a relationship with you? And I feel like um, with the Eight of Cups here, you know, they're kind of walking away. I feel like with heavy hearts, they feel like it's necessary for them to walk away. You know, it's not easy for them, but they feel like, okay, it's in my best interest to walk away. All right, so let's move on to number three, guys. Okay. Ooh, so we have the lovers. So, um, okay, so whether they say it or not, this person felt an incredible connection with you. I feel like um, for some of you, this person is not the type to just express that to you. Like, they're not going to just come out and say it. But if you were to tell them that, you know, I think you're my soulmate, um, they'd 100% believe it because they felt like the bond that you two shared was like unlike any other. Like, I don't feel like with you, they it's uncom it's incomparable. Um, they can't compare your relationship with anybody else because it was so strong. It had this bond. Like, they felt it. Um, but I have a feeling that they were holding back. So let's see. Um, yeah, so we have the three of cups guys so um there were definitely other third parties that infiltrated this relationship between you guys like i don't know if it was sorry guys i ran out of memory but this was definitely not a monogamous relationship like even if you thought it was or you wanted it to be there was definitely someone else in the picture maybe multiple people in the picture so this was a relationship that didn't really have a strong structure in terms of commitment it was kind of loose friends with benefits let's have fun or it worse it could have been an actual relationship but the person just wasn't being someone you know wasn't really being um uh, faithful and just kind of kept getting involved with people they shouldn't have been getting involved with all right let's see all right the ace of wands okay wow so i can see that you really turn this person on you know this relationship is something that they um, look back on and say, mm, like, we had a real sexy thing going on. Like, there was a lot of sexual tension and a lot of sexual buildup. And I think you may have did things that really turned this person on and you didn't even realize it. So this relationship really got them going in a sexual sense. Like, if you didn't sleep with this person, it just means that you really got their wheels turning. You turn them on. And if you did sleep with them, you're definitely someone they enjoyed being intimate with. Okay. All right. Justice. Too much tit for tat in this relationship that this person is telling me. They, they felt like this relationship had too much tit for tat, which is funny because I feel like it's kind of their fault, you know? So this is a, this is the type of person that's just like, okay, you took six hours to text me back, then I'm going to take 24 hours to text you back. How about that? Or, you know, they're going to be, the, they're not going to be the first person to say I love you. You have to say it first, you know? Um, they felt like this, this relationship was a very vengeful relationship. So if this person treated you 
a certain way, um, you'd find a way to spite him. And if you did something that offended him, this person would find a way to spite you. So this was a lot of they need a taste of their own medicine type of thing going on. You know, because no one wants to feel like, you know, they're being taken advantage of or used or played. So there was a lot of, oh, you know, this person's trying to play me. Well, I can play them back. You know, lots of pettiness. Um, okay, so this card answers whether they'd be willing to get back with you. And the question is, um, they're open to getting back with you, but um, they're not going to go out of their way to pursue you, okay? So this person's just like, I'm going to let fate do its thing. If we're meant to be great if we run into each other awesome if not then it means we're not meant to be so this is someone who would date you if you happen to just fall into their lap figuratively but they're not gonna actively come out and seek you and pursue you it's just like well if I run into them and I see them again and they come back into my life again it's a sign but if they don't then probably not okay all right, guys, if you like this type of pick-a-card reading, let me know by liking, commenting, and subscribing.